We now want to graph what time of day voicemail is usually retrieved. So again, we can leave this in here and try and work around it. But my suggestion is clear it. So we'll go analyze, clear all. So now we know we need the time of day. So somewhere I'm going to have to put time. So I'm going to grab it and put it into my rows. So you see all our times. And for now, I'm just going to ungroup it. So this is the time of every unique call. We've been asked to use call duration as the data. So you'll see this duration, click and hold, drag it into values. And I'm going to actually change this to sum. Okay. And as shown earlier, this is actually time. So just to make it a little bit neater, I'm going to use a format. And we'll use the custom. We're going to use the one with the square brackets. Okay, so now we've got that, but as you can see, because it's listing every single time of a call, it's a little bit hard to then be able to accurately assess what's happening. And just to show you what it looks like graphically, so if I now chose that, you can see it's not actually telling us much. It's quite hard to tell what's happening. So what we can do is then perhaps group the data. So I'm going to right click here and group it, and maybe we're going to group it by hours switch off the months. When we say OK, you'll see that gives us a slightly better picture of what hour of the day we spend most of our time on calls. But now it was very specific. It said on what time of day voicemail is retrieved. Now we happen to know that under destination network is an option for voicemail. I'm just going to put it into the filters. There we go here and I'll choose voicemail. And when I say OK, now shows only the duration spent on voicemail calls per the hour. And you can see that there seems to be a peak sort of at lunchtime late afternoon.